Hey guys, today we're going to be learning how to design a logo using grids, which is going to help you make perfectly geometric logos right in Illustrator. So sit back and let's go. All right, so just to add some context, this is a logo redesign for Storespy. And Storespy is a fintech brand in Nigeria that connects retail investors to small business owners so they can get access to loans. So basically, it just helps to connect investors and small businesses. So I came across their logo and I kind of felt it was stretchy, especially with their typography. I didn't feel it worked well. And their logo was kind of generic. It was just like um, an icon of a house or a store, right? And there was no contrast between the logo and the logo type. I know that can work in some cases, but in this situation, I don't feel it worked so well. So that's what I was looking on to fix. And I would definitely recommend you guys always start with sketching. These are a couple of sketches I worked on and sketching is always a great way to just put your mind on paper, right? Just bring out all those bad thoughts until there's one good one. So now when illustrator and i've dragged in the picture sketch so just double click that layer um on the pro on the layer panel and dim the images to 50 percent so we're also going to be learning about the grids right so first thing to do is create a new layer right like i did right here and just name it grid right or wherever you want to name it so we're going to draw our grid here first before we now form the actual logo. At first, it's ideal to start with your, your basic measurements, right? And that's why sketching is always important, right? So I already have an idea of the thickness and also the gap between the elements of the logo. And I'm going to use Ctrl D or Command D for Mac users and duplicate. All right, so we have that. Next up is going to be the circles between the base spaces. So I'm just going to draw circles, right, to match the sketch at each point where the curves are. Okay, so right here, I'm just going to copy this large circle and I'm going to paste it in front. So we're going to have two circles and I'll just shrink that one in to match the inner circle, right? And I'm doing this so that each of the circles can have the same point of center. So I'm just going to copy it again and paste in front to draw that inner circle. And there we go. Okay, so since it's the same set of circles that are going to be at the bottom right, so I'm just going to duplicate this and drag it down, just align it to make sure everything is looking crisp. Now let's just work on the curves at the bottom of the logo and um, let's work on the bottom as well. So you might notice that the sketch is kind of long, the bottom of the P looks kind of long and I noticed that when I was designing it initially so I decided to kind of make it shorter and I did that so the logo can be optically balanced and it's not too vertical it's not too long downwards so you will notice that there's some gap at the bottom but that's just fine it's all part of the logo process all right so we are done with the basic outline of our logo so we're going to go to the layers panel but we'll copy everything on this outline layer we'll create a new layer and paste in the outline paste it in the new layer so you have two copies of the outline and you can go ahead to hide the second layer the outline layer so it doesn't interrupt what we're about to do so the top layer is now the fill layer so we're just going to fill it in 
with the logo all right so we're done with that and if i turn on the outline layer you can see there's an outline just under the logo right which is going to help us to show the grid structure of our logo so let's just go on to form other parts other variations of the logo i decided to keep the colors from stores pay so their purple color i made sure it was consistent and i decided to use the font man rope man rope look like a pretty good font so just uh, trying to align it vertically and horizontally and there we go all right guys so that's how to form a logo right using grids in illustrator and i'm going to leave the logo grid and sketch in the description with the illustrator file so you can download and play with it thank you guys for watching have a great day and stay creative